This actually has to be the craziest episode we've ever done. This yeah. scares me to death, I will be honest with you. It's worked for me in the past, but also I've never tried it on a $5,000, $25,000 card. Right. Uh, here we go. And then I'm gonna go submit them for regrading because I think these cards are worthy of better grades. In some cases, I'm gonna to try to cross them over from BGS to PSA or PSA to BGS. Doug, you wanna see what I got? Yeah, I'm dying to see what you got. Absolutely dying. Hello, sports card investors, and welcome to one of the craziest episodes we've ever done. This actually has to be the craziest episode we've ever done because I'm letting Doug here from our sports card investor team take $50,000 worth of my cards Crack open the slabs right now, live on the air, and then I'm gonna go submit them for regrading because I think these cards are worthy of better grades. In some cases, I'm gonna to try to cross them over from BGS to PSA or PSA to BGS. And in some cases, I'm just gonna submit them back to the same grading company to see how the grade might change. And actually, it was Doug that inspired me to do this because recently you did this yourself. Yes with some CSG cards. Tell That's us right. about that. So both of these cards right here, they were straight nine fives across the board. The Maxi had a nine on centering, but nine fives everywhere else. And yeah. All three came back PSA yes. 10. So let's hope this luck continues at a little bit higher stakes. Cause I have brought some really nice cards that we're about to crack out. I'm gonna have Doug crack them out. I don't trust myself, ladies and gentlemen, to crack these cards out. So I'm gonna give the responsibility to Doug, put the pressure on this man, and if he destroys the cards, you're gonna see it. We're gonna roll this no matter what happens, you're gonna see it. By the way, it is currently May of 2022 as we're recording this. You're watching this video sometime in the future because we're actually going to, in a minute, show you what these cards came back from the grading company as. We don't, of course, know yet. That's gonna be happen over the next couple of months. Yeah. And then release the video. So that's you're gonna get to see the grades and the whole deal. So here we go. So these are the cards I'm gonna have Doug crack. So I've got a Juan Soto first Bowman card. This one I chose because the subgrades are exceptional. Yeah, 10, are. 10, 9, 5, 9, wow. 5. I looked at the card closely, it looks perfect to okay. me. So I want to, that to go to PSA to see if we can get a PSA 10. Okay. Same deal with this Tiger Woods. This is a very valuable card, Tiger wow. Woods auto card. Wow. This one with a 10 and three nine fives. The card looks in really good condition to me. I had, an, I had a, a grader look at this yeah. and say they felt that was a good candidate for crossover. So we're gonna try sending this to PSA as well, as well as this one. This is a Tom Brady refractor from 2002 Pristine. Yeah. Um, this one also, I had a grader say, man, that looks, that looks like a PSA 10 to me. So we're gonna try sending that to PSA 10. Now with this one, we're gonna do, we're gonna do the opposite. So this is a card that, PS, that they only got an authentic at PSA. Yeah. There's a tiny, tiny surface issue. Okay. I could only see it after I went over it several times. Right. I want to send it to BGS and okay. see what BGS does with the card okay. and see if we're able to get maybe a, a 9.5 or at least a 9 from BGS. And then this one is a card I that, know that card. you know that card, yeah. right? So this is a card that PSA graded only an 8. Uh, and I think onside this is at the national, onside right? at the national yeah. last year. And I was really disappointed with the grade. I think the reason for it is because the pattern in the select card, there's a line mm -hmm. through the pattern right there. I think that's why they gave it an eight. I want to crack it and send it to BGS mm -hmm. and see if they're going to be more forgiving yeah. and maybe give this card a better grade. All right. The final one is LeBron James, 2003 rookie. This is a PSA 9. Yep. For the life of me, I cannot figure out why it's not a PSA 10. Okay. It is perfectly centered. The surface looks, looks great from what I can tell. Everything about this card, the corners, the edges look sharp as I can tell. Everything looks perfect. I don't understand why it got a 9. We're just going to send this back to PSA okay. and see if PSA regrades and perhaps maybe this time we get a grader who agrees with me that this should be a 10. All right, Doug, let's get cracking. I let's thought, go here. I thought you were going to give me just some really inexpensive oh, no. test cards. Oh, no. We are not. We are, we're, I'm going to warm you up with the least expensive of these. Well, these are all expensive I'm going cards. to need you to sign a waiver we'll, we'll, first. I'll warm you up with LeBron PSA. For any liability. Um, I've never cracked a BGS um, slab before. Oh, wow. This is We're going to do this live. Yeah. Uh, I guess we are. So we should, we'll start with a $5,000 Juan Soto instead Sick. of the $25,000 Tiger Woods maybe then in that sounds, case. Sounds awesome. No pressure, Doug. No pressure. Sounds so awesome. So, you know, you just want to keep your snip here above where that separation is okay. between the label and the card. 
So we'll start there. Okay. Easy right. enough, right? All right. This part can be a little tricky because it gets, it takes a, a little bit of pressure to get a flathead screwdriver in here. Mm -hmm. and, but once it's in there, it like, it, it really flies. So I just want to be very delicate with this. More delicate than I would with, uh, you know, my own cards probably because I can make a hundred dollar mistake. I can't make a several thousand dollar mistake. Now this is a fairly thick flathead screwdriver you're using here. Is that intentional? Kind of a big one or? No, um, not necessarily, but it's what I own. Yeah. <laughs> so, All right. so yeah. All right, look at this. The slab's beginning to separate now. Yeah. Again, you have to be super careful about the card itself. So I'm, I'm avoiding that at all costs. Whew. Is this making your heartbeat out there the way that it's making my heartbeat right now, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> oh, wow, okay. All right, but it looks like we got the opportunity to pull that card out of there now. You're just continuing to pull the slab up, okay? Look at that. All right, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We've got our first successful, how you doing, Doug? How you feeling? And look uh. at that. Ladies and gentlemen, don't you agree? Isn't that a PSA? Pouring sweat. Isn't this a PSA 10, Doug? Do you see any? Is there a little surface issue right there, perhaps? Maybe right on the jersey. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what may... I may end up paying $50 to PSA for nothing if it comes back as a 9 again, or God forbid it comes back as an 8. But you're going to find out in just a second. We're going to crack Tom BGS. Brady. I've never cracked BGS before. Uh, there is a first time for everything. This is a lot more substantial. Like This is already more pressure than I used to crack that PSA slab. Woo! All right, that one flying. Uh, there you go. You got very, it cracked. Very sturdy slab. Shout out to uh, BGS for a tough slab to crack. Now you might be wondering why are we not just submitting these cards in their slabbed form over to over for grading? And the reason why is because the grading companies are they tend to be yeah. really. First of all, PSA for a while wasn't even allowing. They weren't even doing crossovers. But but even when they were doing them, it was uh, they're much more critical of doing a crossover when the card's already still in the slab. It's much harder to get a, to get PSA to agree to take a card from 9.5 to a 10 if it's already in the slab. You will have more success this way, cracking it out of the slab. Uh, Open your eyes. <laughs> Whoa, that, that really exploded. I'm glad you told me to cover my eyes. Regardless of whether you're cracking or you're just submitting cards that you bought raw or that you pulled out of a pack, the best way to do it is through our card grading submission service here at Sports Card Investor because you get quicker turnaround time than you are often able to get on your own and discounted pricing often cheaper than you can do it for yourself. Go to sportscardinvestor.com, click grading in the main menu bar. These cards we will be submitting through our own Sports Card Investor grading service in partnership with Got Baseball Cards. So that's where these will be going through to get graded. Again, go to um, sportscardinvestor.com and click grading. We have PSA, BGS, SGC and CSG all available as grading options. Okay, so now we've got that card in there. Now this is kind of inside of one of those pouches. Yeah. So what the LeBron had a little cover over it as well. Yeah, so there we go. So I got it out I got it out of the pouch there. And then we've got shrapnel. Do you actually over. have to do you actually have to cut this? It looks like it's sealed it all the way around. It does look sealed, doesn't it? Yeah. So it looks like you're gonna have to I've never done this yeah, with a BGS that. before. All right, it looks like you're gonna have to slice yeah down the edge in order to get this out of here yeah it does. which creates another another danger point <laughs> just but, another uh, opportunity right. to damage that card so we'll do that after the after the filming today um to make sure we've got the proper tools i'm gonna have doug uh crack the rest of these and we will yeah fast forward through these so that you can see what the grades come back at stay tuned okay Got it, got it. All right, there it is, there it is. That's the last one, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Tiger Woods that I'm desperately hoping PSA 10s because this card is a lot more valuable if it PSA 10s. I'm taking a big chance with this card. Doug, Doug, you are a hero, sir. You did it. Woo. We got them all out without any damage. This guy got it done. Now I'm gonna take these cards right now to our sports card investor grading service, send them off, and now you're gonna see the grades. They're back. <laughs> Doug, you wanna see what I got? Yeah, I'm dying to see what you got. Absolutely dying. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Got a little mix of everything here, ladies and gentlemen. You ready for this? Yeah, I think so. I'm a little nervous. Okay, Doug, so here was the first one. Okay. This was that Tom Brady 
uh, refractors, uh, 2002 Tops Pristine. That was a BGS 9.5. You cracked it. And that went to a PSA 10. That's a big Perfect. win. This has definitely added some significant value. It's, it's a pop 19 in a PSA 10. So that was a big win that we cracked out. That's awesome. Yeah. So we're starting with some of the good stuff. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stab you <laughs> with a knife at the end of this. Me. But we're starting okay. with some of the good stuff. This was another huge, huge win. So this one was this uh, Ovechkin uh, SP Future Watch Auto Rookie Card from 2005. I had picked this up at the um, Toronto card show that awesome we went show, to. Awesome show, yeah. And it was only a PSA Authentic. Yeah. It was not graded, and I, I thought that maybe there was a little bit of a surface issue on the card, and that's why the person hadn't graded it. But I wanted to see what BGS would do with the card. 9.5. Nine five. That's a big win. This card, uh, by recent sales on this card, this card added several thousand dollars in value uh, if not actually a little more by awesome. crossing this over from a nine, from a, from a authentic to a BGS 9.5 that added several thousand in value to this card. Well done. Congratulations. All right. So, so far, so far we're looking good, ladies and gentlemen, right? I mean, that's, Hey, we're off to a really good start. We've Making made a money. bunch of money. Hold your horses. <laughs> not so fast, my friends. Okay, we're gonna go with a couple of neutral ones here. Okay. So this LeBron PSA 9, I said that was one of the best looking PSA 9s that I'd ever seen. And so we, we had talked about sending it back to, to PSA, but after we cracked it, mm -hmm. after the last video, we looked at this one really closely and we actually did see a little bit of a surface issue. Yeah. So we decided to send it to BGS in hopes of a BGS 9.5. BGS agreed with PSA's grade. They just mm. gave it simply a BGS 9. Uh, so I went from a PSA 9 to a BGS 9. That lost about $100 in value, uh, plus the grading plus fee. The, yeah. Okay, so that one, wasn't, that one wasn't the best. I would have rather have just kept that in a PSA 9 holder. But I'll probably just let that be. Sure. Um, it's, not, it's not enough of a difference to make it worth cracking again and trying to get my PSA 9 back. The Tua, the Tua from 2020 Panini Select field, no, field level number to five. So this one, PSA had given it an eight. And the reason why is there is a noticeable print line across yeah. the front of the card. I thought BGS might be more kind about the print line because in the past I've seen them sometimes let print lines go, but no. They gave it the same Seven eight. on the surface. Seven on the surface. Oof. Seven on the surface. That, that means there's line. probably something else. Too. Yeah, they really, really killed the card on that. And so that... That's out of five? Yeah, that, that didn't help. Obviously, going from a PSA 8 to a BGS 8, that was, that was you know, somewhat of a loss there as well. I don't think it's worth trying to go back to PSA on it. It is what it is, um, you know, but it, it you know, yeah. I, I was hoping that this would go up, you know, at least get like a BGS 9. Uh, but I did not improve my situation there at all. All right. Now where I did some damage to myself. Okay. All right. This next one, this next one, I had this beautiful Juan Soto 2016 Bowman First Prospects Auto Card. Very sharp corner. Look at the sharp corner. That yeah. was the corner that on Instagram, everyone said uh, they thought got damaged coming yeah. out of, no, it didn't at all. The corner is yeah. perfectly sharp, didn't get damaged at all. True gem, actually a gem plus, 10, yeah, 10, 10, 9, 10, 9, 5, 9, 5. I was really hoping and thinking this was gonna cross over to a PSA 10, nine. PSA 9. I'm going to crack this. Okay. And I'm gonna walk this to BGS at the National. <laughs> By the way, it is- And just ask them to put that label back in there. Yeah, well, seriously, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> By the way, we're filming this the, the end of July. This is Monday of National Week. Yeah. Uh, when these cards came back and we're filming this now. So you're gonna see, stay tuned, because you're gonna see me walk this into the National here in just a minute. And we'll see what, we'll see what happens with this card. This next one though, this last one, the last one, this is the one that kills me. This is the one, and you're not even gonna believe this, Doug. You're not gonna believe what happened because this is beyond painful. This was my Tiger Woods, the most valuable card of all the ones. Mm -hmm. The most valuable card of all the ones. Well, actually, I, the Ovechkin might be. Uh, now. It, it might, it might, well, the Ovechkin <laughs> may now be the most valuable card of all the ones. They're around the same value, right? But this Tiger Woods was a true gem plus 9.5. 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, and, and 10, 10 yeah. okay? If this were to cross over to a 10, it would add once again uh, 20,000, maybe more than $20,000 in value if it were to cross over to a 10, little over 20,000 in value. 
So that's why I took the chance on this. I also had a third party grader mm -hmm. look at this in the case when it was a 9.5 and I, I said, what are my chances of crossing it over to a 10? He was a former lead grader for PSA. And he said, I think your chances of crossing it over to a 10 are really good. Wow. Nine. Disaster struck, but not in the way you think. Whoa. PSA wouldn't even grade it. <laughs> what do you mean? They gave it an authentic with an auto grade of a nine. They gave it an authentic. So I said, what the heck? What happened, right? Right. So we contacted PSA and we said, what went on here? The grader was concerned that the card could have been trimmed. So wait a minute. You had a True Gem True 9 Gem 9.5. And you decided to trim this Deci card? <laughs> no, of course I didn't <laughs> trim this card. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. But the grader was concerned about it. Now, that does not mean that the card was actually trimmed. And they did not put an altered grade on it. They right. Didn't, they they didn't put not, altered. Yeah. They didn't put altered. Okay. They put authentic. It doesn't mean that the card was actually trimmed. PSA at least it's been my experience from what I've observed recently, is erring on the side of caution. Mm -hmm. And they're really cautious about, especially about big cards, if they have any reason that they, anything that, that makes them even the slightly bit nervous, they don't want to grade it because they don't want to end up with a controversy yeah. of a card in a PSA slab that shouldn't be in a PSA slab. Especially a card like that. Especially a card like that. Now this has been taken to a bit of an extreme degree because recently I have seen a number of people on Instagram who have submitted brand new pack fresh pulled cards to PSA and PSA has rejected them as trimmed mm. in, in several cases. So PSA is being overly cautious. So it doesn't mean that this card is actually trimmed, but what it does mean is that PSA was <laughs> nervous enough about it where they didn't want to grade it. They didn't give it altered, but they gave it authentic they didn't actually want to give it the PSA 10 that it probably deserves based upon the condition. So what's the game plan with this? I'm going to take it back to BGS. Okay. I'm going to do it right now. You guys are going to see what's going to happen. Is BGS going to recertify this card and give it back and say, no, it's good and give it back as a 9.5 like it was before? Or is BGS going to look at this now a second time and say, uh, maybe PSA is right. Maybe something is wrong with this card. All right, so those two cards are back into Beckett for grading. Gosh, I hope I get nine fives back on those cards when they come back. We're gonna see what happens next. All right, here we go. It's time. It's time with Beckett. See how we did. These were these were cards that I took a chance with. I cracked. These ones it didn't work on. I would love my nine fives back. All right, here we go. See if I did all right here. It's the first one. It's the first one. Oh, thank God. Thank God I got the nine five. Thank God I got the nine five. Thank God I got the nine five. Okay, this worked out okay for me. I got my nine five. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Very consistent grading, very consistent grading. I got my 9.5. All right, that's good news, guys. That is good news, I got my 9.5. Okay, okay, hold on, let's get the other one. Was I able to get another 9.5? Did I make out of this okay? Oh, I got a nine, I got a nine. It went down, it went down to a nine. Okay, okay. All right, so that one, that one hurts a bit. That one hurts a bit. Overall, this was still a successful experiment, especially when you consider that hockey card uh, that I went, the Ovechkin, that went to a 9.5, and then the Brady that went to a 10. This was a successful experiment overall. Thank you, Beckett. Thank you, PSA. I appreciate this. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. By the way, if you're looking to get cards graded, we have an awesome bulk submission program at Sports Card Investor, where we will help you out with your cards in partnership with Got Baseball Cards, Beckett, PSA, SGC, CSG. Check it out, sportscardinvestor.com. Click on grading in the main menu bar. Have you guys done any crossovers? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your stories. I might try some more, but that'll be a future episode. Until then, please like, please subscribe. See you again soon.